Hello Taurus, thank you for joining me. This is your general love reading for the week beginning March 13th through Sunday, March 19th. We're going to start out with our word for the week, which is synchronicity. And the meaning of synchronicity is the connection between your thought and an event that occurs at the same time. So keep that in the back of your mind this week. And maybe just take note of those moments where things occur simultaneously for you. So this might be one of your better weeks, or at least the beginning of the next four weeks, actually, because Venus is going to enter your sign on Thursday. And Venus is your ruler, which means uh, Venus could provide some new beautiful things or perhaps you will find someone beautiful or um, it just brings more blessings when it's your actual ruler. Um, so I have a, just three cards we're going to do and we're going to look at a challenge and let's see what's happening with your situation. So your challenge card, Taurus, this week is the Page of Swords. So what is it that you're trying to implement when it comes to your love life? With Venus bringing some blessings, it may also bring more of a desire to have something beautiful or someone beautiful or something that you find attractive. Um, but I think really this week you want to focus on whatever you do, that as long as you have love behind your actions, especially when you are wielding this sword, whether you are learning or connecting with someone new or you're looking up information or just having a, a discussion with someone, you want to make sure that the communication is clear and that you are on the same level as the other person. Otherwise, you'll feel like things are a little bit ungrounded. So it's just time to find joy, success, and um, even if the boat gets rocked a little bit, this should really be a week where you're definitely guided by your heart. And your overall situation is the lover's card. So I really like this for you because I do feel like this is a really good week for love. So... When it comes to owls mating, they actually mate for life. And I think that's very fitting for you because you tend to want to be, um, you want something that's long, stable, trustworthy. You want someone that's dedicated. Not that other people don't, but I think that's really a big desire for Taurus. Something that you can build on and that will last. There's, there could be a feeling with an instant attraction or affection for someone this week. It's very real, very, very powerful. Or if you are already in a relationship, you could just be feeling more in love, more seen, more heard, more attractive. And that's, you're kind of exuding that charm. And the other person is, um, maybe showing you a little more affection and you just realize that you that this person is an important part of your life they're an important connection they make you excited they make you nervous they make you giddy or they should and if they aren't then maybe that's not the person for you so i really like this for you because if you're looking for a yes card, then this is definitely a yes card. And the overall outcome for you is another major arcana card, which is the sun card. 
So this is another yes, Taurus. Whatever it is you're working on, whatever it is you feel like you want to begin or continue with, you've got the backing of this warm golden sunlight providing you a sense of safety, protection, and magic. So if you are a little unclear about something, the sun card is giving you that clarity. It's telling you that you... Whatever it is you are feeling, whatever it is you are thinking, it's time to celebrate. Celebrate how far you've come. Celebrate all that you've accomplished. Celebrate love. Celebrate laughter, playing. Just celebrate. Soak it up this week and be guided by your heart. And let it be full of love and light. Thank you.